Coming up next on the Sports Connection, he has set his sights set on conquering the MIAC and is looking to establish the rise of a new Roman Empire at the Olympics. Sprinter Roman Crest runs into your living room next. They're smart about the Olympics representing the Marshall Islands. I only dreamed of stuff like this happening. Like this is the kind of stuff you see in the movies, but I don't know. Sometimes I do get watery eyed thinking about it, but I mean I still gotta keep going. I only made it I'm only so I only made it so far. There's so much farther to go. Crass was born in the Marshall Islands and moved to Minnesota as a child. He didn't learn about his dual citizenship until a couple of years ago. Pondering the possibilities, he decided to run with his dream and contact Marshall Island officials. Well, I had nothing to lose, so I emailed them, contacted them, talked to a few government officials out in Washington, D.C., and started making things roll. Roman's persistence paid off. Soon after making contact, he found himself in front of 65,000 people representing the Marshall Islands at the 1999 World Games in Seville, Spain. I was basically had nothing to lose. I ran my worst time down there, but... It was, it was great though. It was a great experience. It's so exciting to have an athlete a part of our program and a part of this division in the NCAA to rise above and, and accomplish those kinds of things. Coming from a Minnesota uh, high school where typically you're not supposed to be able to sprint very fast to make it to that level is really remarkable. Roman's entire story is remarkable. College wasn't in his plans after graduating from Minneapolis South High School in 1995. St. Thomas head coach Steve Mathry would always see Roman training on his own. Noticeably talented, Mathry convinced Crest to consider St. Thomas. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. When I first met him over here by the long jump pit three years ago in 1997 when he came to campus on a visit, he was nowhere near um, a college, uh, not only athlete, uh, but most specifically a, uh, a student. He couldn't get into this college based on where he was. He has been with me now from the get-go. I used to come here and train, and he'd see me like, are you interested? Or, and I didn't, I didn't have the grades then. And I was like, uh, it's going to be hard for me to come to St. Thomas because I don't really have the grades. So. Counseled to go to junior college and get the grades, Roman went to Minneapolis CC for two years. Needing a GPA of 2.5, he was accepted to St. Thomas with a 3.0. He took direction from our missions department and what we talked about what was part of what he needed to do to get into school. And he went back over the last few years. He's accomplished that and then some to become a student here at St. Thomas and uh, make things happen for himself. Pat Fisher, MSE Sports Connection. For Roman's personal best time of 10.39 in the 100 has pre-qualified him for life in international competition. All that could stop him from running in Australia is red tape. The Marshall Islands have never been represented in the Olympics. However, Roman has been assured the power, proper paperwork is being completed and odds are good he'll be a participant in the 2000 Games.